All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. We are today going to do the throttle position sensor. I got my, my little helper back here. She's gonna help me do all this stuff. So let's get cracking. All right, guys, so last week we did the distributor cap, rotor, spark plug wires and spark plugs. I thought that was gonna fix my issue, but apparently the issue is the throttle position sensor. So we're gonna get into that today. I got a new one ordered off of Rock Auto, it's a Motocraft. So we will get that in. So what we're looking at is right down here. If I can get in there. So that's the throttle position sensor. It's a little great piece right here. Um, so what we need to do is we'll need to take off this top, the intake, and then everything else that's attached to the throttle body. We'll pull the throttle body out and then replace that sensor, put it all back together. So let me get the camera set up and we will start dissecting. All right guys, so the throttle position sensor, there's a couple of ways that you can tell that it's going bad. Uh, I'm gonna add a video of what my truck was doing the other night to show you exactly what it does when it's, when it's going out. Basically you get like a really rough idle. It'll, uh, it almost acts like, a, like an IAC going bad but mine was actually even stalling out any time that I pushed the clutch down, came down below like five miles an hour uh, while I was driving, coming to a stop sign or something like that, it would stall out because it was not getting enough gas. I attributed that to the throttle position sensor, so once we change it out, we'll see if it runs better and stops doing that. All right, guys, so first we gotta get this top cover off where the throttle cable comes through. Sometimes you gotta lift up on the cover while you loosen it. So we'll get this off and then we'll come back. All right, so we got the cover off. Now it's time to pop off the throttle cable. So we're gonna come in here with the flat blade screwdriver. We're just gonna work it and not break it. No, definitely not break it. Definitely not break it. Spends a lot of money. We're gonna work it up off of that ball joint. There we go. So ah. this is off. It's still connected here, but that's okay. Uh, the next spot, we're gonna start undoing these uh, hoses. There's a hose here, there's a coolant hose down here. There's a couple of wires and stuff plugged in, so we're gonna pull all those off, and then we'll get to the intake. All right guys, so we got this coolant line off. There's another line right in here. Make sure you get those off, yep, which my little helper over here caught. So we're gonna go down, there's another line down on the bottom back here that we'll take off and then a couple of electronic connectors. All right guys, so we got that bottom uh, coolant line taken off. Uh, the intake is kind of, intake hoses are kind of in my way. So I'm gonna take those off next. All right guys, so we just took the sensor off. I think that's everything. We should be good to just pull the throttle body out. So just remember, if you're doing this yourself, the throttle position sensor down here, it's plugged in right here. So make sure you unplug this before you start taking it out or else you're only gonna have like a much length of room to work with. And now you're holding your throttle body and trying to unplug. So we'll unplug this and then there's, there's a bolt back here, a bolt here. I'm sorry, the wind is horrible. Um, and then two more bolts down at the bottom. We'll unplug or we'll unbolt those, unplug the throttle position sensor, pull the throttle body out. Alright guys, so we got all four bolts removed. Now here comes the throttle body. Lifts out nice and easy. Inside of that, definitely nasty. Definitely is a cleaning. So here's the throttle position sensor. We'll unscrew here, slap the new one on, plug it back in, bolt it all back up. 
All right, guys, so uh, I cleaned out the throttle body. I'll post that in a video next week, but uh, it definitely looks a lot better than what it did. So we're just gonna undo these two screws right here, take off the throttle position sensor, pop the new one on there, and then we'll get it all put back together. All right, guys, so you see this little notch right here? In here, you wanna make sure that you get it set and then you twist it to where you need it to go from the from left to right. So you want to count, do it clockwise and then put your screws in. I find the hole, there we go. That keeps everything where it's supposed to go. So don't just kind of toss it on there. You gotta make sure that you get it right and then get all your screws lined up. All right, here we go. Now we will get it back onto the truck. Alright guys, so I got the throttle body back lined up. Now we just got to tighten down the screws. But there is a gasket, so make sure that you have the gasket uh, on there right. I took and put the gasket on the throttle body and then ran the bolts through. I just put the two top bolts through. You can kind of see it's obviously not screwed or not bolted in yet. So uh, that was how I found it easiest to get everything lined back up when I put it in. So let's get this tightened up and then we'll be good. All right guys, so we got everything hooked back up. We got all the coolant lines back in and the throttle cable back on. So all we need is the top cover for the throttle cable and the intake. And then we should be good and we'll fire her up and uh, make sure that it all works. All right guys, so we got everything all hooked back up, everything screwed back on and all that. So we'll go ahead and fire it up and make sure that everything works right. All right guys, thanks for watching today. Hopefully you guys liked it. And uh, my little helper here has a message for you. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.